Alrighty, today's the challenge to withdraw loud fox small arms only and one shot. So, I mean, we could bring a submachine gun in this situation like most people do for small arms only, but then again, it's one shot this time and I don't think a lot of people realize that pistols are actually part of it. But then again, it's not that hard to realize that considering that it's literally mentioned in the description. Regardless, we'll bring what we need and then after we'll just use pistols because submachine guns on one shot is practically a joke. Now since that door is still open, let's just run past everyone, try not to get shot, and get the employee to put their hands up for no particular reason. Anyways, well, that, is, that detection meter is going to stay on the screen for a while, isn't it? You know what, it's fine. Regardless, did I just get hit by a god that, you know what, never mind. We'll plant a demolition charge, we'll drop a med kit, and because Cyber's got a C4, that's what we're going to use to actually breach open both doors. Because guess what, it's not no explosives, but we still don't have a thumper. Anyways, we breach that, and we're gonna grab a C4 right around now. Then we're gonna go right back in here, we're gonna plant that C4. That detection meter is still there, I'm not sure how infuriated by I should be by that. Anyways, we will blow up both doors, grab a bag of cash because it's gonna be pretty helpful for- Cyber, that guy just shot you 8 times or so, and you just- didn't care about it at all, I should be bringing that bag with me. Anyways, we'll go up here, move slightly careful. That's the easiest unit, we can move faster. Let's just post up over here, have that employee continue to stand there because... I mean, it's an option and I'm not gonna complain about it. We'll just grab this bag and while we wait, we can probably drop a few medkits over here. Just to make our life slightly more convenient and... Immediately start by missing the actually important unit and then shooting the one right beside completely on accident Regardless cyber's alive and cyber's gonna eat through a lot of med kids now, which I'm not exactly surprised by but There are more units there and those are shotguns. Let a flashback go post up right back over here And I mean hopefully we don't fl we don't fling them too far away Because shotgun ammunition would certainly be useful Anyways, we'll keep dealing with these units We'll drop that raven, and because we- Can I actually hit my shots real quick? Let me grab- That shotgun's gone, isn't it? Yup. I am not grabbing an S97. If I wanted to use an S97 with one shot, I would have done that earlier. Which, by the way, I do not. It is most definitely not the best choice in this situation. You know, if that weren't- If that were a shotgun, I would be far happier, because I would have delivered it right over there, just where I needed it. But of course it's not happening. Now Cy- That is a CB- Can I actually hit the important unit and not the unit right behind them? Just one more, peek. That is a CBRC and you can shoot through that and I am most definitely not gonna fight you. Now Cyber, if you could get ready over there. Did I- I should have had- You know what, let's not question it. We'll keep shooting and- because it's an FI-7, I can't exactly hide behind cover effectively. Now, Cyber, really, grab yourself a medkit over there. We can just transfer it around later if we end up not needing it. And now we'll head right out. Because it seems safe enough, which... I mean, really shouldn't be used as a gauge in this situation, but it works. So we're not gonna complain about it. Real quick, we'll bring that bag over there. We'll go right back inside, and then we're hopefully not gonna get shot too many times. But then again, there are units already spawning, so maybe that's not the best choice to immediately continue moving any bags. Like I said, anyway, so I'm just gonna bag up two more bags of cash, and we will hopefully move all of them by the next wave. Or whenever it's free again, which I mean, hopefully happens soon. Now we're going a slightly more... I mean, we're going a different way this time, because we can't exactly see too much in the fog. I mean, we can see things, but we can't exactly see that much. Now that was a very nice flashback. Sure. And sure. I mean, that's a bunch of ammunition I most definitely want, but... Oh, you're gonna make it difficult for me to get it, aren't you? Let's grab that ammunition, and let's go right back in. Then we're gonna drop this raven, and we're just gonna have that shotgun ready, just in case we need it later, alright? And I mean... Sorry, you're... I'm not supposed to reload in that situation, and... I'm definitely not supposed to have... One extra bullet in that situation, but let's not complain about it. That's it. That's an FI-7 squad. We need to deal with that fast because FI-7s are once again a major threat. And also there are two guns floating. 
shotguns are an even bigger threat. And I am not interested in fighting them. That is an S97, you should not be doing that much damage. Real quick, let's heal up. Have Cyber take this for a moment. Cyber, if you can't take it, just tell me, you know. Alright, we're switching back to our Raven over here. Because I am most definitely not trying to use a shotgun for that. I would much rather have the second bullet rather than have to reload in this situation. So we'll just do that real quick. And when it fuses, you might want to back off so you don't get flashbanged. Post up right again over here. Why CBRCs? Why do you have to exist? I should be very paranoid of these. Let's reload, let's heal up because right now is a good time to do so. And sorry. Why? Alright, Cyber, you want to drop a med kit right now? I mean, it, it would be pretty important. And I would appreciate it a lot. So maybe... You know what, never mind. Cyber just used to make it. I most definitely do not need it. Alright, and now seems like a good time to go. So that's exactly when we're going to go. And then afterwards, we'll run right by over here. Try not to get sniped. And Cyber, that is a very questionable method you're going. And don't get me sniped either. We're going to go back, grab ourselves more bags. And then afterwards, try not to get sniped. Cyber, move past. Perfect. And then afterwards, we will shoot one bullet just in the middle of nowhere. Just so that we can increase our total bullet capacity or ammo capacity so that we don't actually get absolutely obliterated here. Now Cyber, you can go grab that. I know you're there. Drop that bag over there, get back up over here, try not to get shot, leave that bullet going over there, and then get right out of there. Now real quick, Cyber, we should be good, but also, what is this over here? Can, can anyone just tell me or explain what this monstrosity is. Just explain that real quick, yeah? Never mind, we're gonna go right in here just so that we can avoid that fight. Real quick, we'll go over here, and then afterwards, we will just stay here and try and stay alive, and then deal with units too. And maybe fire another bullet just so that we can reload, and and then accidentally fire another round, that works. All right. Just keep holding this, we've got plenty of extra ammunition and there's nothing wrong if we accidentally need to shoot people again, but sure. Alright, now we're gonna keep posting up over here, and we're just gonna keep waiting. Now there's one interesting thing, which I mean you could pick up a shotgun over here. They are pretty effective in one shot, which is why I have one, and I could most definitely switch to it. I might. We're just gonna start by dropping a shotgun here just so we have quick access to it if we need it. And I'm just going to say right now, shotguns are incredibly effective on one shot, even at range. Shotguns are really questionably effective in this. We will reload, and we will keep moving. Or at least we will have the units. Right. Extremely, extremely attentive units. When it's laggy, don't try and pick up a shotgun because you you may or may not lose all of the weapons you have or just not be able to use any weapons. You know what, we'll just leave it as something bad will happen, maybe. I'm just gonna back off. We are not in a position to actually try and get in a gunfight. We should be waiting for Sparrow, trying to take as little damage as possible, and we should just wait. Alright. Now Cyber has some opinions on one shot for missions like the SCRS. And it's that we can use grenades for the gunship. Now if you don't know, we can't actually... We don't do more damage on a gunship with one shot. Which can make it pretty miserable. Now could you do me a favor and not fling the shotgun? That I kind of want some ammunition without putting in that much effort. And try not to die. You know that... Those weapons... Those weapons over there keep making me think that's a unit. And then when I actually go, there's obviously a unit waiting for me. Which I mean... What a pleasant surprise, isn't it? Every single time, makes me think that's a unit. It is incredibly absurd and I have no idea how that happened and I'm not exactly about to question that either. Now aside from that, Cyber doesn't really change our skill tree either. I mean, unless it's unskilled, inexperienced, or no hybrid classes. Because Cyber is obsessed with a max vitality and max vit vital target skill tree. Hi there. Sorry. Did that? I have no idea where that unit went and I'm not going to question it. 
anyways, aside from that, we're just gonna keep defending, and Sparrow should be here in around one minute. I, Cyber, I do not need ammunition from you. I have plenty of ammunition to survive. And if I need more, I can just switch to my shotgun. You know, Cyber, if I had some shot, if you want to give me some shotgun ammunition right now, I would not complain about that. But frankly, this is not useful. I do not need Raven. CBRCs are the worst. They, they are literally the worst. Alright, let's keep the effect. Every single time that gets me. Every single time. I know there are guns there. But every single time it looks like there's a unit there, right over there. And I just instinctively back off. Mainly because usually when you see a gun in that area, you don't exactly peek out there aggressively. Now the goal here is to hopefully try and get out with a wave break. So, did that shotgun... Alright, we still have that shotgun, so we're going to take this opportunity. We're going to move up right here. We're going to let this reload a bit. And because right now seems like the right time to do so, we will move right over there to the heli. And can that door not do that to me real quick? Alright, Cyber's about to have a great time in this situation, so... Cyber, you're about to get flashbang now. This is getting worse by the second for you. I'm just gonna keep posting up in that direction while Cyber deals with that. I don't exactly know where the sniper is, and I'm not exactly interested in finding out. I will... I will d attempt to deal with the sh I will attempt to deal with the flashbang, but obviously because of the shotgun, it's gonna mess with me. The one time it should be effective. Anyways, we are slightly getting closer to being dead. I can't exactly give us give Cyber a med kit right now. And we just barely missed a sub 1140. I mean, we made it out alive and we did pretty well. Cheers everyone, have a great time.